Hi again. Always forget it not to shake the table or hit the table. I really need to get this thing put on like a wall or a better tripod or something. But anyway, um, so last thing, we'll have update. I was updating about my nine week appointment, uh, where I guess my first initial appointment where I found out I was nine weeks. Um, so I'm gonna just kind of briefly talk about like how week 10 and 11 went. I am currently, as of today, it is Monday, it is not Monday, it is Tuesday, June 26, and I am currently 12 weeks pregnant now. Um, and I, we have made the big announcement and everything, so I will be also editing a lot of the videos a little bit, um, and then posting them for family to see and stuff. But as far as week 10 went, um, it was fine. I was tired a lot. Um, there was minor nausea still kind of happening, but by the end of the day, I was fine. Um, and then week 11 was probably the hardest because I had to work during that week. Um, I am a teacher, so I worked for a remediation class that was four days long from... 7.30 in the morning until about 3 with the same kids and the issue that I think kind of like exasperated a lot of the headaches was that, well there were a few issues. One of them was the campus I'm at or that I was at is undergoing construction so all of that going around. Um, I was in a small classroom, uh, not like itty bitty but smaller that was away from like any sort of external doorway. Um, and there were about 40 kids in there on average. And they were all freshmen. Well, they were all about 14 to 15 years old. And that's when they love to be as loud as possible and don't want to listen. And it's summer, so I don't blame them. And then also it was just like a really crummy weather week. So I think a lot of my headache issue was more so allergies and sound level um, and having to wake up super early. And not being able to like relax, you know, I was uh, going the entire time because it was like boom, boom, boom. I had to get a lot of stuff done in a very limited amount of time. And I also had Corbin with me, so I was also having to like kind of parent him. But luckily, he was really, really good. Okay, I actually didn't sleep as well as I had been sleeping. I guess week eleven was kind of like that cycle, like I had talked about previously, of me just not sleeping. So I think my hormones were kind of like on the upswing. Um, I wasn't able to really work out as much because I was so tired when I got home, and I was getting home late in the afternoon, so that was, it was kind of hot when that happened. Um, so yeah, that was just kind of like a health, a health, a hell week, I didn't think what I was going to say, it was like mail storm, hail storm, sorry, mail storm, I've been, uh, been nerding out some lately. Um. But, I mean, overall, it wasn't that bad. I definitely could tell, like, my irritability. I was a little moody, and I definitely had a lot of uh, constipation going on um, for whatever reason. I think just not sleeping well, and I wasn't able to be as mobile or move as much. I wasn't working out as much. I had to, like, eat early, early in the morning, and I wasn't used to that. Because um, even during the school year... I would probably eat closer to 10 because I'm just not someone who can wake up and like eat. And my body just is kind of better on like, you know, when I'm hungry even. But overall, week 11 was okay. Um, well, week 10 was okay. And now like, that's kind of like in the middle of week 10. And then like week 11 was that Tuesday. Um, like I said, I was going to try and do these weekly, but I was tired. <laughs> um, so probably like on Thursday, I was able to actually, it was the last day, it wasn't as hectic because it was more so like last day review. So I was able to get some working out in, I started feeling much better, I was able to like drink more liquids because there was a nice machine available, um, and that has been an issue for me, I need like ice cold water to drink. Right now we're actually out of ice, but the only thing is, I can't go to the store to get ice, because Matt has my car, because his truck is in the shop right now, so it's a lot of just tumbling down. But luckily it's summer, so it's not that big of an issue, and we do a fridge that gets water gold. And I keep my pickle juice in the fridge, so I drink that as well. Um, so, uh, I guess leading up to week 12, something I started noticing was the headaches were kind of bad, um, which kind of sucks, because I kind of realized that it might have been the Raisin Bran cereal I was eating in the mornings. Um, 
So, apparently, any kind of sugar in the morning is what causes nausea for me and makes my headaches worse. So what I've kind of had to do is flip my meals almost. I've kind of just started to realize this because the last few days I've had like egg and cheese sandwiches for breakfast, but then I'll have like ice cream at night. And I'm actually, I don't get a headache at that point and I don't get nauseous or I don't feel nauseous or nauseated, whatever. Um, and I'm actually sleeping, like sleeping. Like I'll go to bed at 8.30 and 8.30, between 8.30 and 10. And outside of like having to get up to pee every two to three hours, um, I'm sleeping hard, like hard, like not even dreaming, which is amazing. Um, except for last night was kind of weird. <laughs> Uh, I dreamt, and then I also, I was dreaming that I was running. Don't know why I was running, because I would never run, ever. Um, well, maybe my life depended on it. Anyway, I woke up kind of, like, tired, but that's me, but then I was, like, really cold, and my legs were sweating. I was like, well, that's weird. Um, but that happened when I wasn't pregnant, and I know that nighttime hormones can get weird, and with the weather being, like, hot and cold and hot and cold and hot and cold, you get it. Not, like, cold, but, you know, Texas cold, like, 95. <laughs> um, overall, week 12 starting out really well. I feel like a normal human being now. I uh, was able to rest up. Headaches are really the only issue, and that's, once again, only if I eat a lot of sugar early in the day. Um, as long as I'm eating, like, salty foods, I'm fine. Um, but I've also been upping my vegetables and my micros, so kind of like getting the swing of things again. Um, saying um a lot lately, kind of like keep losing my train of thought. I also think my eyes are getting bad, because I feel like stuff's been getting fuzzier, or it'll be fuzzy, and then I have to like stare at it for a while, and then it, um, like comes into focus, or my computer screens are messed up, or something like that. But I do know that, like, pregnancy, because of, like, pressure and everything, can, like, change your, the shape of your eye, and that's, like, what makes stuff fuzzy or not. Um, but speaking of pressure, I have made sure to keep my salts really high, and I think that's also helped to stave off headaches, because I was getting somewhat dizzy, um, and my headaches would get really intense, and then I would be like, oh my god, I need to take my blood pressure, I've been eating so much, so... Um, and I'm someone who has, like, historically low blood pressure, and my blood pressure is, the last time I took it, it was, like, 112 over 70, and normal, normal numbers are, like, 120 to 80, however, there is a range, depending on, like, height, weight, gender, age, but 120 over 80 is, like, perfect, um, so, I mean, I wasn't horribly low, but it's that bottom number that I kind of like to watch, because that's you get a massive headache, I kind of check my blood pressure and it's kind of low, but since I've kind of upped my salt intake and I've actually spaced my meals out more, um, that's been helping, and then I guess when we get to the weight, I've only in the past, well, six weeks, six weeks, um, I have gained a pound, I mean, if my weight's kind of been all over the place, so I've been tracking it with a pregnancy weight counter app, actually, you just put it in every week, and it's, like, gives you a projection, like, where your pre-pregnancy weight is versus where you should be at birth, and it gives you, like, a high number, and gives you a max and a minimum, and then it also, like, tracks your, um, you track, like, where you're at, and it puts it on a little graph to show you, like, if you're gaining a lot of weight really fast, or if you're, like, not gaining any weight, and earlier, um, each week it was, like, going, like, a little mountain, um, but that would also coincide with, like, my bloating versus not being able to sleep, so I think that probably has something to do with it. Um, but, yeah, uh, first trimester, one week left of it, and it's gone really well. Um, I have heard some, like, horror stories previously about it. Um, like, one friend, she actually ended up losing 10 pounds in her first trimester because she was so sick. And then in her second, she was able to gain a little bit of it back. Um, and I was almost half <laughs> like to be like, I'm kind of the opposite. I've gained it though. But I haven't. Um, after looking, I've only gained about a pound, um, which puts me right on track, actually. Um, I probably started off closer to the high end of my BMI, even though my doctor was like, you're perfectly fine. Um, but I live, I do all that, and I know that gaining a bunch of weight during pregnancy is not good. Um, you're supposed to gain weight, but you're not supposed to, like, gain a bunch of fat or whatever. Um, so, really, I could just make a whole other video about my dieting right now. I'll just do that. But anyway, week 12 started. Hey!
Hey! Um, little nugget is one and a half inches or two and a half inches long, I believe, and weighs 0.5 ounces. And if you don't know how many, how much 0.5 an ounce is, it's basically a shot. Or a, um, a tablespoon. <laughs> so not a shot. No, a shot is one ounce. So it's a tablespoon. Baby weighs as much as you can put into a tablespoon right now, and that is insane because I can hold that like in the palm of my hand. Actually, you could probably hold baby right now in the palm of my hand. But um, yeah, that's my finishing out my nine week, ten, and eleven week, and I'll let you know how the rest of the week.